stuff to shine. You can call me Roscoe, cause another name I'd hate. In the middle of all that trouble again, I only stop to smile at all the pretty ladies, and they all like to stop and smile right back at me. But you can bet your bottom dollar, I will end up in a mess. Fighting with someone who bothered me Round, round, running round Round, round, running round Sitting in a burger bar just keeping to myself Eating quarter pound, this is my game You can call me duck, but don't annoy me Where you headed? That way. Uh-huh. This way. That's why I stopped. I'll be waiting. He started fooling with his voice and we all ended in a mess. Fighting with someone who bothered us. Round, round, running round. Huh? Poor guy like me makes one mistake. It was an accident. And I get life. You know what happened, right? I was down by the yard up on I the crane. Know. I know what happened. Judge probably figured dropping a caterpillar on your mother-in-law's head was wrong. Well, we had to get formal about it. But I thought it was my wife. I said I was sorry afterward. Well, she was too squashed to hear you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Did I ever tell you why I'm in here? She actually was a friend. And I had a lousy lawyer. We're right into the warden's office. I think that's for you. Thanks. Nice talking to you. When you come back, I'll tell you why I'm in here. No, no this is not Caesar's Palace. This is State Penitentiary, that's what it is. What? Now look, where am I going to find two single quiet rooms with a bath? Yeah. No, I don't give two hoots what the governor of the state has to say, even though they are nice guys. Look, the best I can do is a double with no bath. Take it or leave it. That's what? Well, uh, look, yes, it'll be vacant this afternoon, and you can have it for a few days. I'm expecting a couple of lifers in Saturday. I don't know where to put them. That's right. Yeah? Well, written to you, sir. Yeah, all right. Bring them in. Only be a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I can't help you. Look. Well, do the best you can, will you? Because this isn't the only prison in the state, you know. How are you, Doug? Sit down. Uh, no, thanks. Tough life. Tough? Oh, no, not for you. You're free. As of now. Free, sir? There's two weeks to... I got some newcomers coming in. I need the room. I mean, you've been taking up too much space. Plus, the kitchen's been working overtime since you've been here. You almost cost the state more money than the entire space program. Is that right? You deserve it. Believe me, for putting up with old Tim. Yeah, poor old Tim. Still insisting he's innocent. 
Yeah, well, it's a pity that his mother-in-law insists on seeing dead. Huh? All right, Doug. Now I want you to pack your bags and pass through administration, see? And get your ass out of here, okay? Thanks, sir. Do this for him, and I'll pass him right through administration. Yes. Doug, thin. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, You're welcome. I finished my comic here, wasn't it? It's Superman. Well, isn't this nice it. of you? I haven't read this way. Say, Doug. Yes? If another yacht bothers you while you're fishing, don't sink it. No, not again, sir. I'll be driving and them bugs keep messing my screen up. Taking out some heavies in my time, but Husky Joe, he was something else, man. He was tough up. And how did it start, huh? How'd you beat him? He said I couldn't unload my truck because I was late. He said, them's the rules. <laughs> I said, I don't give a frog's fanny about rules, I said. I'm unloading my truck and nobody's gonna stop me. I started to get out. Husky? He tells me the splitter will take my backbone and mince it. Before he finishes talking, I spin around, reach up, and grab his throat and drive his nose through his gray matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. And two of his boys arrive. Jack the Bear and Caterpillar Nick. Hey, I know them. Animals, man. Animals. They were all over me. All over me. I shook them off. I reached down, I grabbed my knife, and I started cutting them up. The old ladies are wearing black now. Must have been some fight. No better than others out there. Here, choke on it. Hey! Give me another one. Hey! Give us another beer! Now! You can wait till I finish cooking a hamburger. 
I said now, garbage mouth can wait for his hamburger. What did you say? You talking to me? Yeah. What are you, crazy or something? Have you ever tried driving a truck with your arms in plastic, huh? Hey, forget it. He didn't mean what he said. Our buddy here will apologize, and that'll end it. Apologize? Nothing. Who asked you anyway, eh? Hey, listen, Futso. You want another hamburger, you're gonna need your teeth. So just sit on your high chair and cool it. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it quiet. I don't want no trouble in this place, or I'm up. <laughs> now for some laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going to be the only one laughing around. <laughs> Why don't you laugh? Funny, huh? You're going to hit me right in the face, aren't you? Hey. Hey. Look. in no time. See? Real trash, huh? Yeah, you could say that too. Hey, no way, man. Who's on me? All right. Never refuse a free meal. Life spending all day on wheels. Where are you from? Manitoba. If you want to put your legs up, it's no problem. Thanks. Hit the road. Here we go. Fuzz, give me the flat feet. Give me, give me the cops. Uh, give me the police. Hey, come this way often? First time. I usually hit the north. Can't say I'm crazy about the view. Don't worry. Up the road. Worse. Hey, something's happened. Turn on the radio.
were to pack the bones of the orthopedic department, it would be a lot easier to restore chopped liver to its original form. The owner, who was the first to regain consciousness and call the police, said the attackers numbered no more than two. Obviously, the poor man is still in a state of shock. Sheriff Cooley, the officer in charge of the investigation, is convinced the gang of truck hijackers consists of at least ten men. He went on to say, the hunt for these criminals will go on until they are safely locked behind bars for life. And now it's back What a to messed up world we live in. I'd say you were speeding. Speeding? What are you talking about, officer? That needle was glued on 50. I get out of here. Let me see your driver's license, your logbook, your cargo manifest. You know, where you're coming from and where you're going. You want anything else? Not at the moment. What do you want? The papers. What papers? Logbook. Cargo manifest, insurance, the papers. Why, why are you asking me? Why am I asking you? It's your truck, isn't it? Mine? <laughs> Wait a minute. All I did was ask you for a ride, and you said, why not? You said, what? Now you just come out with your hands up. How you doing, officer? Shut up. Get up! Get up and get against the truck! Come on! Get up there! Spread them! Ah, I watch it! I just hitched the ride with him, officer. By the way, thanks a lot. Hey, what are you, deaf? Nothing. I told you to shut up! I'm clean, officer. I'm just a, a roller bum. Yeah, well, your roller bumming days are over, buddy, for about the next 15 years. 15 years? Are you... Get your hands up. Get your hands up. 15 years if the judge likes you. Now turn around and keep your hands up. They led us a nice little chase, huh, Jim? We've been after you guys for months. <laughs> months? I... Get your hands up. Uh, it's been a misunderstanding, officer. Oh. Ho, ho. Is that what you call it? We call it truck hijacking, aggression, willful damage to private property, criminal association. All right, you guys, freeze. Or I'll blow you to hell and back. Drop the hardware. And no turning around if you know what's good for you. Now put your hands up. Higher. You too, trash can. Wanna get us killed? Do what they say. Wilbur, I really think we should be leaving. You're quite right, Alice. Okay, you cops in the truck. And you, ape, open the back. Hey, the man's talking to you. You better do it. Start walking, and keep facing the truck. Sorry, fellas. This ain't a crime bust. It's a cop bust. Okay, coppers. Get in. 
Shut the door. <coughs> what do you think you're doing? No! 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 Don't shoot! I don't want to die! Die! My God! They shot him! What are you so worried about? As far as the cops are concerned. We had just a couple of missing dead bodies. You don't kill that siren. They gotta find one of those missing dead bodies now. Any idea where to go? You go your way, go mine. Oh, you're a loner. I can't stand the sight of my own face in a mirror. Ah, I see what you mean. Where do you want to go? The furthest from you possible. Great. All over the place. I've never been there. I'll go with you. Sure you will, boys. Over my dead body. You hey, baby, what's the first plane to chat? TWA, 504 in 50 minutes. Thanks, Blondie. Could you tell me the next flight to Detroit? That would be Pan Am, flight 116 at 1235. Thank you. What's the first plane out of here? That would be Eastern Airlines to Miami in 10 minutes. But well, don't mention it. This is the last call for Eastern Flight 405, now boarding at gate 14 for Miami. Mr. Steinberg and Mason are kindly requested to pick up their ticket to the Eastern desk and proceed immediately to departure gate 14. Mr. Steinberg and Mason, please pick up your tickets to the Eastern desk and proceed to gate 14. Excuse me, I'd like a ticket to... I'd like a ticket for Miami, please. I'm sorry, sir, but the Miami flight is fully booked. They just called us. You could you check it, please? Okay. Oh, yeah, Mr. Steinberg and Mason? Yes, I'm Steinberg, and this is Mr. Mason. Okay, here you are, okay. first class. But you better hurry before you miss your flight. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Come on, Perry. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Steinberg, yeah, Mason. Yeah. This way, please. <clears throat> Fasten your belt, please, sir. It's fastened. Hey. <laughs> She means this one. Yeah. Right. This first flight. Well, if you need anything, just call. Did you get it? If you need anything, yeah. just press this button right. and the stewardess will come running. But uh, if you have to throw up, you 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 use this bag, right? Come on, that's a doggy thing. Hey, they close the door. I feel cooped in. That's what they usually close, the door, before takeoff. Oh. Something tells me it's been a bungle. Yeah, the big one is going to be real mad. Yeah. What's happening? Beats me. Follow me, please. That's it. The party's over. Yes, so. Yeah. One minute more, and you would have missed it. Well, it wasn't my fault. My flight from Washington was late. Anything else? 
Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Huh. Figures. Here's the key for the attache case and for the cuffs. Okay. Good luck, fellas. Good luck. Oh, there is one thing. Can I ask you guys a favor? Please do not put in your report that I was late getting here. Okay, mm. just as well. Okay. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Mm. Steal the case. He gave it to us. Are you coming to the journal or aren't you? Shh. Sit down. In Miami. And it's only schmuck from South. and Steinberg. Of course, they didn't talk, because the real ones are right here in Miami. I can smell an agent a mile off. The airport's crawling with government men waiting to meet them. Okay, one right away. Yes. Okay. 
But nobody moves until ballistics gets here. Look out, Chief! Behind the door! Okay, Kojak. You got us. Just take it easy. How about letting us go in a three-way split? I know you won't believe this, but we got our hands on the money by accident. I'll take that. Yeah, you know how it is. Oh, yes. Sure. It's true. Sorry my men had to be so rough on you, but we had to make it look good. The name's Scott. Jeremy Scott. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Hi. <coughs> Hi. My compliments. You acted your parts brilliantly. When I heard those shots, for a second I thought you guys had had it. Mistaking firecrackers for bullets. <laughs> yeah. You know, Posing as cheap woods was pure genius on your part. What else could we do? <clears throat> Advertise who we were? No, of course not. Well, seeing as we are who we are, this is mine. Yes, naturally. I mean... Hot, huh? You said it. I'd give an arm to be like you guys. Was the training tough? Uh... <sighs> The Chief can't wait to meet you. I mean, he's really excited. Chief? Uh, what's the Chief like? We call him Tiger. He can be as sweet as a pussycat. But if he catches you dipping your whiskers in his milk, just go kill yourself. That reminds me, when you write up your report, if you'd leave out the firecracker bit, I'd really appreciate it. If you keep your mouth shut. You heard him. Yeah, I understand all about that. But that, what about, uh, what about Fidel Castro? Well, he just woke up at noon, sir. What kind of revolutionary is he? He sleeps more than Raquel Welch. He played basketball last night. Then enjoyed the company of women until about 6 o'clock this morning. Well, how, how is his health? The Escalapulo satellite has just sent out this information. So? Blood pressure, 80 up to 130. Heartbeat, 48 at rest, 49 under stress. Muscle tone, excellent. Slept well, regular digestion. Defecates like a baby, no sign of diarrhea or any other abnormalities. So, the beard's in good shape, huh? You said it, sir. Shit. Just a minute. Hello. Oh, good. Uh, 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 send them right in. I'll be right back. Agents Mason and Steinberg, sir. All right, Scott, you can go now. I got our man in Havana, sir. Too bad. He was a good agent. Well, welcome to Miami, boys. Thanks, sir. Right. Kiss me, I'm black. <laughs> Good disguise. <laughs> well, who would have dreamed that underneath these filthy, stinking rags are hiding two of our top agents, two chosen from over 10,000 applicants. Well, we were just lucky. Hey, let's hope it uh, stays that way. <clears throat> you don't become pilots, climbers, divers, marksmen, karate experts, parachutists, saboteurs, 
knife throwers, experts in code, radio transmitting, signals, camouflage, medicine, chemicals, just by pure luck. Hmm. And Agent Steinberg is also a ventriloquist, sir. And Mason's a great dishwasher, sir. They got our man in Alaska, sir. Too bad. Pity. You know, it amazes me how a man of your size can scale vertical walls and buildings. I, I just don't understand that. He's something else, a real spider. <laughs> No shit. No shit, sir. <laughs> All right, shall we go? Yeah. <laughs> Tell left to gather our men in rope. Meeting you today, Lieutenant. Agent Mason will pilot the chopper. Yes, sir. Uh, I think I'll stay here while you go up. I've got a couple of things to check. Don't on. worry, Steinberg. Anything you have to do today can wait. <laughs> Are you crazy or something? Hey, you're not a pilot. No. Ah, shut up for a million bucks. I'll fly the space shuttle. Your first. Front. Left profile. Back. Arms out. Right profile. All right, you're finished. Okay, Steinberg. Front. Left. Back. Arms out. Right profile. You're finished. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi. <laughs> oh, these are the ones. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi. Now, in addition to your usual talents, I've asked 
Sam to prepare a little something extra for him. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. These little babies contain what we call Eros Plus, a love-inducing drug. You know as well as I how important it is in your profession to be on good terms with the ladies. <laughs> Short burst on the clothes, and no woman will be able to resist you. Thus, turning herself into a mine of information. <laughs> and it works? Oh! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I don't need that. Try it. Uh, uh, just a minute. <coughs> Molly? Yes, sir? Would you come in, please? Yes. Ah. Uh, oh. Sam. <laughs> now, <clears throat> this Molly that's coming in, she's been with us for 15 years. She's like a rock. She doesn't even know what the word sex means. She's like a rock. <laughs> Come in. Uh, Molly, I would like a list of all the personnel in the operative section. I would like a list of their duties, the color of their eyes, the size of their clothes, whether they're right-handed, left-handed, their shoe size. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Hi. Hi. You can go now, Molly. Shut up. Oh, for God's sake, Mason, you tell her. Yeah, you can go now. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Well, what do you think, boy? Oh, Sam, you're a real genius. <laughs> oh, show him the next thing, Sam. <laughs> now, that's incredible. <laughs> Tear it longitudinally, and it's just like any other roll of toilet paper. And in case of emergencies, it can even be employed in its more traditional use. But. It becomes highly resistant. You can pull a truck, support the weight of a cable car. Someone like climbing out of a window. Man, do you eat a lot of brain food? Oh, that's not all. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> Come on, take a look at this. Look. Ah, what about that? Six horns, gold, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here, let me show you. <laughs> even the paint, even the paint is bulletproof. <laughs> Good work, Sam. <laughs> In addition to its usual functions, we've added a self-destruct mechanism. Just uh, push that red button there, and you have only five seconds to get away. Uh, Jason C., huh? Uh, what's the top speed? Just under 200 miles an hour. <laughs> what we need picked up for speed. Well, you've done it again, Sam. Everything perfect, down to the last minute detail. <laughs> what about the registration? But the registration expired. Expired? Yeah, look at it. Oh. Terrific. And you expect us to drive it? And what if a cop stops us? What do we say? We're the CIA? And what about gas? Did you fill her up, or do we have to get out and push? Pam? I'm sorry, uh... Mistake by one of the boys. Not my boys! Not my boys! You fix it! Sir? Sir? Yes? Fix it. Your clothes are ready. And here are the documents. Boys, what? Look, boys, when you write out your report, if you can just sort of overlook the expired registration, I 
really appreciate it. Well, if you keep your mouth shut. Okay. You've got it. That'll be all, Sam. All right. Your clothes are ready. Here are your cards. Unlimited credit cards. You have an American Express card. Diners Club. Carte Blanche. Master Charge. Visa. You belong to the Yacht Club. Golf Club. Tennis Club. Country Club. Sex Club. Playboy Club. You're licensed to hunt, fish, and kill. Well, I guess we've got everything. Oh, 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 no. There's one other thing. Oh, this one will make your jaws drop. Ah. All right. Now, boys, a miracle of modern technology. You ready, gentlemen? Go. <laughs> We're putting into your teeth a micro capsule. With the aid of this capsule and the Voyeur satellite, we will be able to pinpoint your positions anywhere on the face of this planet, down to about uh, three feet. No oh, shit. No shit? Isn't that fantastic? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Are you sure it won't fall out like, uh, you know, if somebody hit <laughs> <laughs> Out of the question. Uh, they, they are wedged to your teeth and anchored to your jawbone. Yeah. And that's not all. If we try to remove it without first deactivating it, this whole building would be just another address. <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky you are. You met me and your life took on a new me. Well, you listen to this guy. There I was sitting and eating a couple of burgers. Then I met a blue-eyed moth. Now I got a mini atomic bomb in my mouth. Yeah, and a satellite. It was rarer to tell the whole world when and where. I go to the John. And you call that lucky? Is the satellite bugging you? Oh, that's funny. Then, of course, there's a video game. Tiger's office. The what? The world map on a wall. You saw the cute little light that flashes. It tells Tiger who's finished his chips. You don't get any more. They blasted a couple of our boys in Miami Beach, Chief. Pity. Yeah. yeah. They were really good. Especially the uh, big one. Me! What are you complaining about? There's a million bucks in that case. Plus credit cards. <laughs> What's a few hassles compared to that? Hassles, he says. We're on a firing line, don't you understand? You're a real downer, aren't you? Or maybe they won't kill us. This maim is bad. Hey, that's better. Anyway, if you want to split, I'll take the money and run. Forget it. For a million dollars, I'll Half do Half a million. Oh, Half. For a half a million dollars. I consider wrestling a gorilla. Now you're talking. Let's just think of all the fun we're gonna have. Hey, want some music? Gentlemen. What's so funny? Excuse me.
Take the horse to the stable and give her a good rub down. Yes, sir. What about the cow? Her name's Calamity Jane. Find her a field, milk her twice a day, and keep her away from the bulls. Otherwise, be your butt. Got it? Yes, sir. I think I have. Take it away. This way, gentlemen. Easy, son. I've shot men for less than that. This watering hole's not bad. <laughs> nice heifers around here. Ain't much grass, though. Yep. This is my kind of place. The natural. <laughs> I'll be with you in just a moment, sir. <laughs> Get What's everybody around here so happy about? No trouble, Doctor. We'll be delighted to see you again. Oh, no, we'll be happy to see you. Now, then, may I help you? We have a reservation for your 2,500 buck bunkhouse. Just, just a moment, please. Oh, yes, yes, that's Mr. Uh... Yep, that's <laughs> Ash. Yes. Leonard. Yes, sir. Leonard, would you accompany these gentlemen to the Royal Suite? Oh, yes, sir. I'll carry the saddle. Uh, would you follow me? <laughs> Where's the stage move out? Push, Leonard. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, they're here. They're dressed as two rich Texans. Very elegant, sir. Yes, sir. This is the bathroom, gentlemen. Now that's a great toilet. Strange outhouse. Rich people do it together. Didn't you know that? No. Hey. Get that toilet paper out of there. The toilet paper, sir? Yeah. We travel with our own toilet paper. If that's what you want. That's what we want. There's nothing else, sir. I'll uh, be leaving. Good thinking, Lenny. Mm. Oh, thank you, sir. My pleasure, son. Hey, it's all ours. I wonder if they packed our socks. Lenny. Hey, I'll get it. You'll get it. What do you want? Oh, hi, Chief. Excuse me, miss. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? A lot. How about a Venus Mill? Sounds like you can't beat that. Maybe you can with a 
bite of a tiger. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, just give me a surely temper for now. With a cherry? Sure. And maybe we could exchange bites tonight. Oh, I have a hard time convincing my folks to let me out nights. Gee, that's too bad, cuz, uh, 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 I'm not allowed to nibble on Yuri. You a police officer? Uh, sort of. I'm, uh, I'm a secret agent. If you can keep a secret. Sure. You on vacation? Vacation? <laughs> Does James Bond ever take a vacation? Neither do I. I hope you like it. Mm. Hey, miss, <laughs> can we have some drinks over here, please? I'll be all yours in just a second, sir. I won't be long. Eat the cherry. It's a blast. A blast? Yeah. This for half a dozen burgers, huh? Our hamburgers are very special, sir. Well, start serving. 
Here we have fresh onions. And here is the lettuce. Here we have the tomato. And I, sir, and the bun. So what am I to chop beef? Exactly, sir. Who's the boss around here? C'est moi, monsieur. I am the chef. <laughs> what am I going to do with this joint? We get a half a dozen hamburgers. A bigger? <laughs> Take care of him. <laughs> Come on, forget the whole thing. Let's be friends. Why not? Hello, hello, security? Yeah, yeah. Get the police right away. What do you mean you're out to lunch? Ow! Oh, hey, let me see that. <laughs> Choke yourself. Did they come back from lunch yet? We'll send them down. They're killing each other. Thanksgiving. While you were polishing off that eagle, I was fighting off a Shirley Temple. What do you got against Shirley Temple? Nothing. But the cherry went off like an atomic bomb. The cherry? Right. The Shirley? The girl. She took off on a parachute. But I chased on a scooter and sank her. And then I picked her up. <laughs> You're such a nice guy. 
After all that, I guess you got an explanation. You bet. I asked her for the name of the cherry dealer. That's real CIA. She said she didn't know anything. Did you torture her? Yeah, but I got her to talk in the end. She said a couple of Chinese had promised her 10 C notes if she messed up our guts, and 10 slugs if she failed. The Chinese again. Again? What do you mean? Uh, well, you were cracking your cherry. Four Chinese gentlemen wanted to chop me up into chopped beef. Uh, I wonder where they come from. That's the aquarium. The sea aquarium? Yeah. It's gotta be the place. That's where the girl was supposed to pick up her money. So what else did you find? Uh, well, uh, she started to cry. Oh, tears, huh? So guess who had the comfort? Well, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen. If we don't find out fast who wants us dead, that's what we'll end up being, dead. Oh, Those shit. two bastards are more dangerous than I thought. Awesome. They gotta be here. Someone's and fast. Hot dog calling Cobra. Hot dog calling Cobra. This is Cobra. This is Cobra. Follow them and exterminate before they reach this aquarium. Hey, let's go. They're coming. are to kill. Okay. As soon as they turn off, we blast them. Okay. Get ready. Okay. Hey, there's a car following us. Relax. There's always a car following you. Look, we're following them. Besides, our ice cream man would have warned us if something was fishing. He's a real agent, not like you. Hey. Where's the money? Relax. It's in a safe place. Where? Yeah. How about some music? Now what? Don't sweat it. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Now let's keep our eyes open. These guys aren't playing for nickels. We've got the upper hand. They don't know we're here. Your attention, please. Mr. Mason and Mr. Steinberg to the information office, please. You are wanted on the telephone. Mr. Mason and Mr. Steinberg Who could to the that information be? office, please. Our peeping Tom in the sky. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay, I'll go see what the old man wants. You hold the fort out here. Okay. Don't get in the habit of giving orders. Uh, popcorn medium? Hey, mister. I'm looking for a Chinese guy. Yeah, well, I might be right down the bottom. Smart ass. Mason, 
most successful tricks are the easiest ones. It's that simple. Where's Steinberg? Yeah. You know, I was just about to ask you the same question. Talk, Mason. Or we'll rip your teeth out one by one. <laughs> Except for one, because it's a bomb. Playing for time will get you nowhere, Mr. Mason. Now listen, Wonder Woman. You got the wrong man. I don't know who you are or what you want. Don't you mess with us, Mason. We know everything about you. We've kept our eyes on you ever since you boarded the plane for Miami. Oh, surprised, huh? <laughs> for the last time, Mason. Where's Steinberg? Is this the information office? Uh, yes, it is. Um, how can I help you? Uh, well, I'm looking for my friend. He came to answer the phone. Mr. Mason? Yeah, that's it. Yes, he's here. Come on in. Uh, are you sure it's no trouble? Sure, I'm sure. Can you make it, though? <laughs> you bet I can. How oh, nice of you to drop in. Sit down. How you like that? I've been waiting for you outside. <sighs> I bet he's been driving you nuts with all his talk. Once he starts, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> Such a happy fellow. What? <laughs> is, this is some kind of a joke, huh? No, it's no joke. Put your hands up, please. You did well to avoid our hitmen. But now it's all over for you. K-1 is going to be proud of us. There's no stopping him now. Charlie Chan, tell the driver we can leave, would you? Move out. Tired. 
Sure feeds you. Great gun. Listen to this. 300 hot dogs, 300 hamburgers, 600 sandwiches, 15 pounds of onions, five of ketchup, and five of mustard. No pickles? Hello? This is hot dog. Uh, uh, hold on. It's hot dog. Go ahead. Did you get him? Of course we got them. In that case, I'm asking permission to leave my position. Why do you ask? The ice cream man's getting excited. He keeps transmitting. Oh, well, uh, just stay where you are. I'll tell you when to leave. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Would you like a hot dog, sir? Smash it. Hamburger, please. Yes, sir. Coming up. Hey, what about my hamburger? Oh, it's ready in two seconds. Sir. Hey, thanks. <laughs> How do you like it? Raw. That's our specialty, sir. Well, well, wait a minute. I, I don't know nothing. I, I, I love onions. You like tomatoes, sir? Yeah. Why not? Salad. Just a touch. A little salad. <laughs> Busted. A lot of mustard. A lot of mustard. <laughs> the ketchup, I take it? A lot of ketchup. <laughs> A lot of ketchup. Like pepper, sir. How'd you guess? Oh, lots of pepper. <laughs> pepper. Uh, one hamburger raw. All right. <laughs> hey, this hamburger stinks. Stinks, sir? That's impossible. The meat's the freshest, still alive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then you eat it. <laughs> no, don't! What's wrong? I, 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 I'm just a lookout. I only transmit the orders. Yeah, K-1's orders. Yeah, that's And who right. told him we were going to the Seaquarium? The Buddha. Buddha? Another agent. We'll make him talk as well. Yeah, where do we find him? In your hotel suite. And? There's a TV camera in the statuette. And? And a desk clerk. The desk clerk put it there. And? He's in contact with K-1. Got everything straight? Yeah. Any problems? No. Yeah. Only one. What? That it won't work. Just think about the million bucks. It'll work. Where'd you put the booze? Ah, oh, half hour in the shower. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. I was thinking about that guy at the desk. I can't hear you. What did you say? The guy at the desk. Can you believe it? We'll make him talk. Just you wait and see. Bye. 
and he'll lead us straight to that nuts block house. <laughs> May I help you? Get lost, and fast. Yeah, uh, oh no, I, I uh, uh, must have left my, uh, my, my steering wheel in the office. Yeah, it happens sometimes. I, uh, I can't imagine where my mind is. Well, yeah, you if, need help. if you'll excuse me. No. No? No. Has he talked yet? No, he's a real tough nut. Ah, needs persuading, huh? Say he was cut up by train as he tried to escape. Real messy. No, but please wait. You gonna talk? Well, how can I talk if you don't ask me anything? Who's K1? Where is he? Oh, you you mean? Uh, yeah. oh, I, I have no idea. I, I, I can't. We already know that. And then? Look, I don't know who or where he is. I swear it. He calls me. You have to do better than that. Uh, Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider and his lady. They know where he is. I think he means Shifty and the van. Oh, and Wonder Woman. Uh, uh, they're the closest to him. Mr. Spider is his chief of security. And? And the Buffalo Bill Shooting Club. They go there every morning to practice. And? In a, in a big blue... Uh, Olds. It's a 1982. 1980 blue. And? It's a uh, license plate is ZSG255. Not bad. Yes, I usually aim between the eyes. <laughs> Honest, Mr. Spider. I didn't, I didn't say a word. I didn't... Idiot. Let's go. <laughs> the end of that. This is Spider speaking, sir. I'm delighted to say I just witnessed those two burn in that monstrosity of a car. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Come on in. Yes, we'll come right over. Let's go. Steinberg, sir. Oh, Steinberg. <laughs> Steinberg? Steinberg, where are you? We've been looking everywhere. 
everywhere for you. What do you mean, where am I? You know where I am, sir. Listen, we found a way to break into the gang. I gotta know where Mason is. Well, that's impossible. The satellite is out. What? It, it, it exploded. We don't even know how. Great. Steinberg, Stein. They're at the hotel, huh? They must have left when I went to get the pistachio. The pistachio? I ran out, sir. Oh. Hi, officers. Hi. Can we help you, man? Yeah. I need one of your bikes. Well, that one, or would you rather have that one? It doesn't matter, either one. I'm in a hurry. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute, I need a receipt first. Oh. Uh, you need anything else, sir? Yeah, blue old. License plate, Florida. ZSG 255. Been looking for it for a while. Well, we haven't seen it, uh, but I'll put out an APB. Okay. Hello. Hey! Hello. There it is! Hey, he found it. He sure knows his job. Pretty <laughs> smart. Shit. Hi. Hi. Why don't you take your time? I was enjoying it here. The luck went out at last. Huh? He's my partner, Doug. Hey, Doug. Doug. Oh, huh. I did that. I thought it'd make it look, uh, you know, more realistic. Ah, <laughs> good thinking. Well, we're our friends. Easier by the minute. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, that's quite a thought. I bet it's the best yarn in town. Oh, maybe. Well, let's hope they do it this time. I really need it. Yes. Oh, I, sure I, think it'll work out. I don't think I could bear another wait. Tell me. There's no need for you two to sit ah. Well, if you'll excuse us. Uh... Yes, I'm afraid it's our moment of. I like yeah, by the window. Sure. Goodbye, dear. Oh, honey, course, please sir. be careful. Oh, isn't it exciting? Darling! Uh, we wish we could be with oh, you in your moment yes. of truth. I know you do, dear, but you'll have to be patient. Well, when will we see you again? We'll be finished by noon tomorrow. Oh, I wish I could be there to hold your hand. Oh, oh good luck. Good luck, good Thank luck. You. Good luck. Keep in touch with us. We Goodbye. Will. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Oh, I do hope they do it this time. I hope so. They've been waiting so long. Oh, they deserve success. Yes. I mean, the way they dedicate their yes. lives to it. Lesser men would have given up. Oh, I know. Oh, yes, they are extraordinary. They have a mission in life. Yes. Hard to believe. You said it. They didn't just vanish into thin air. Hey. Ah, 
Check the cubicles. Nothing here. Ah, nothing there. I don't know. Maybe they weren't no ladies. Hey. What? It's locked. I knew where we were. We're in a moving junk. Let's go. <laughs> Magic fingers, you first. What are you stopping for? Some elevator. How do you like that? A ship. This is the end of the line, gentlemen. Uh, I do hope you weren't inconvenienced in any way coming here. <laughs> Not at all. This way, please. Ah, Mr. Mason and Mr. Steinberg, I suppose. I suppose right. Welcome aboard the future, gentlemen. Nice boat, huh? Please, gentlemen, sit down. Make yourselves at home here, please. It's only a toy, really. By the way, what does uh, K-1 stand for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. K-1, I love the sound of it. It suits me. It's kind of mysterious, don't you think? Oh, sure. My compliments, gentlemen. You not only frustrated my attempts to assassinate you, but you invaded the very heart of my organization. I had no idea that the Central Intelligence Agency had men of your caliber. Well, uh... It'll make you feel better. We didn't need yeah. it. Come on over here. All right, get lost. Gentlemen, I've decided to offer you an alternative. As a matter of fact, two choices. That's real generous. The first one, you die. Ah. Can't wait to hear the second. The second choice, you work for me. Huh. Well, uh, not to be difficult, but before I go over to the opposition, uh, I would like, I mean, we would like to know a little about your plans. In the not too distant future, gentlemen, I, K-1, shall rule the world. Don't you think that um, maybe you should work up to it? No, not at all, no. You got an ambitious project there. As you know, gentlemen, the space shuttle will be taking off from the Cape in just a matter of a few hours. Well, so far we're with you, then. Ten seconds after launching, a missile will be fired from one of my atomic submarines, stationed off the coast of Florida. It will intercept the shuttle precisely seven miles above the Cape. The explosion will be carried live by television all over the world. <laughs> missile will be carrying a deadly warhead, the K-bomb. It will intercept the shuttle, explode on contact, spreading a deadly cloud of radiation all over the entire planet. The K-bomb is the most formidable deadly weapon ever conceived by the human brain. It will conserve both men and things, but the mind will be wiped clean of the number. Number? What number? All of them. Each and every one of them. All of them? 
Yes, all of them. The idea of numbers will disappear. Without them, the world will come to a halt. Calculators will vomit out indecipherable gibberish. Measurements will lose all their meaning. There will be chaos. Do you think this is a dream? Maybe it is for you, but not for me. Then there's no way out. Either we go along with the guy, or we die. Imagine a world without numbers. Baseball games without scores. Uh, I can. What about the telephone? How do you make a call without a number? It means you can't call out for Chinese. Right, or order two Big Macs. Two? Oh. Why not ten? A hundred? Or, uh, enjoy the million. What million are you talking about? What do you mean, what million? Our million. <laughs> our million is our million. A million dollars is always a million dollars. <laughs> or isn't it? Beat him. Take him for a walk. Observe, gentlemen. The space shuttle like Canaveral. My atomic submarine. The future, too. Operation Houston. Ah, oh, how I'd love to see their faces. <laughs> and now, the marvel of all marvels. Your finger, sir? <laughs> when they finish the countdown on the shuttle, my submarine will start its countdown. Ten seconds. And after those fateful ten seconds, I will push this button. A sublime gesture that will place me, K-1, amongst the gods. Uh, well, gentlemen, are you with me or are you against me? Well, uh, for the time being, we're still with us. Uh, but there's a good chance we'll swing with you. Let me warn you, you don't have much time. <laughs> A little bit more than a minute. <laughs> uh. Sit next to me. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Hey, don't touch that button. No, no, I, I won't, sir. We've made contact with Future 2, sir. Fantastic. Houston's <laughs> continuing countdown. 30 seconds to launch now. 19, 18, 17, 17. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. This is future two, sir. Seven, 30 seconds to 10, launch our missile. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, we have ignition. The last shuttle launch. Our missile is already in the free burn stage, sir. Perfect. Ten seconds until the launch of my missile, gentlemen. <laughs> I hear seven. Uh, we two. Wait a minute. We two are with you, sir. You are with Three or four. I got it now. I got it now. He said four. Four. Shut sure. up. What's going on here? Hey, press the button. What? Press, press the button. Press the button. Oh.
Almost, you missed it. Why, one or two inches. One two. Don't take it too hard, sir. Everybody makes mistakes. I mean, uh, everybody makes mistakes. I mean, I, I'm all choked You're up. a ventriloquist. You're a goddamn <laughs> ventriloquist. Me? He's said, not wetted by yes. a musical trick. That's what he is. You said He's... one when it should have been two. Oh, sir, may two. I be excused? Jamie, may, right, I, may I be excused, sir? Yes, you may be excused. Wait a minute. Get him! No! Grab him! Oh, Grab him! Okay. Ladies first. No, after you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Turn around. You're a lady. I don't hit ladies. Oh. Ouch! You, you hear me? I don't hit ladies. Hey, Doug, don't just stand there. Buy us some flowers. Ah. I want you to kiss huh. it. You're next, buddy. Thanks a lot. Get up. Some hook. Uh, now what? I'll tell you what. Uh, hey, Doug. I'm gonna split. Hey. That's for beating up blue eyes. Get that bastard! Get him! Get him! You do I you! Me yeah. too! Ha! I'm coming. 
coming down. That's a lot of lady. Packs a mean right. Yeah. By the way, uh, how about our last trip to the John? Uh, it's a terrific come idea. On. Get it. Back to the hotel, pick up the money, and blow. Fantastic, boys. Fantastic. I'm really proud of it. Ah, even I didn't think it could pull it off after the Boyer satellite blew up. <laughs> Peeping time went, pup. Huh, like a paper bag. I'll tell you the truth. When Steinberg called me and asked me for your position using the satellite, I was very embarrassed. <laughs> well, that's all water under the bridge. Let's just forget it. Uh -uh. I'm not forgetting anything. And you're right. You're right, Mason. Steinberg did a wonderful job when he found you. Steinberg? Yep. I had to. I couldn't have done it without my partner. Of course! Oh, I got worse things. And... You don't have to worry. That's all been taken care of. Credit cards, papers, the million dollars, all been sent back to where it came from. <clears throat> It's been taken care of? Absolutely. Great. Great. I know it. What about these bonds? Oh, no, no. We don't have time for anything. You're going to meet the president. The president? What president? The president of the United States. He has invited you to spend the weekend at Camp David with him. No kidding? No kidding. Uh, <clears throat> The, there's just uh, one small thing. Uh, uh, I would consider it a personal favor if you didn't mention the uh, ice cream man. Well, if you keep your mouth shut, 